Hey, what's going on guys? Jay Lil here again at Veteran Nerd Review. And today I have a somewhat of a mega haul, mega haul slash pickup video for you guys I'm going to do for you today. Um, got quite a few items, quite like at least three, got three large packages that came in lately, well, in the last few days, whatever, so I've just been collecting them until I got time to do this video and put everything aside or whatnot. I got a few things I went ahead and picked up. Well, I think just one thing I picked up in the wild. Yeah, just one thing I picked up just outside, just being out hunting or whatever. But um, guys, go ahead and subscribe for me, so that way you guys will be looped in on the um, raffle I got getting ready to come up. Um, getting several figures, I'm getting twosies and threesies up, so that way I can have one for me, one or two for you guys to have the possibility to win. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's start with the one item that I picked up um, in the hunt. I'm gonna get my knife ready for the uh, packages here in a second. Uh. This went on clearance at my local Walmart. Well, Walmart like 50 miles away, where I do drill at. They went ahead and uh, marked down uh, Battle Cat to about 10 bucks, so I went ahead and picked up another one. Since I have yet to see any um, Panthor figures from the Revelations series at this size or scale, I might go ahead and just uh, customize this one and make it uh, purple and uh, do all the harness and everything, make it uh, like the light green color that a uh, Panthor's harness is. So, yeah. It'll be a custom panther in a little bit and that's it for uh, pickups or pickups last in the wild or whatever and next is going to be two figures well the same figure that i got two of that i got in the mail but i had something else in the package that i needed to get to immediately so i went ahead and opened up the package but i saved them for you guys to see in this video and i went ahead and picked up two leo primes because i definitely wanted one for me and one for you one of you lucky guys out there, or gals, whichever one. Whoever likes it enough to try to buy a raffle ticket and whatnot and put your chances in there to possibly win it. I think I may get maybe like two more because I want you. I want more of you guys to be able to have this figure because it looks awesome. I haven't taken out the package yet, but it looks stellar. Put that down to the side. And now let's get into opening some of these boxes here. Let's see what we got. Got some Entertainment Earth here. Where's the knife at? Give us the knife, please. Those of you guys that watched The Golden Child back in the day. Give us the knife. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Some paperwork, receipts and whatnot. Oh, okay, yeah. I figure that I have, what? Are you kidding me? And this is the point where the video takes a turn to be a little bit disappointing. Um, I ordered, I believe, a core class sound wave, and they sent me another core class shock wave from Entertainment Earth. So I probably will be getting on the horn about that to correct that and see if they'll send me another one or have to send this one back or whatnot. But yeah, it's pretty disappointing because I had I had a core class sound wave on pre-order for a couple of months now, at least a month and a half. But no biggie get to the next one what do you have here this is from I think I ordered this off Amazon but it came in a obligatory packaging it doesn't really say Amazon or anything but it came from third seller through Amazon Let's see what we got we have the War for Cybertron Kingdom Ultra Magnus get out for you guys to see this is the chunk that I'm familiar with from the 86 movie with the more like I guess you could say flatter kind of surfaces looking and the more cleaner looking square edges and whatnot with well, the earth vehicle pretty much is earth his earth uh, version or variant I do have the um, the siege Cybertron version right there on the shelf back there somewhere you can't really probably see it from this angle he's behind Rod Rodimus Prime commander Rodimus Prime but yeah now I have both versions of Ultra Magnus. Got this guy from Amazon, so glad to have him. Put that to the side. What do we got here? Got a big boy right here. Ah, not very heavy, but it's a large size package. For all you kids out there, try to make the knife go away from you as you cut. Sometimes I forget to have the knife come towards me, but this is a force of habit. Safety purposes, cut away from your face. Your beautiful faces. What do we have in here? Paper, paper. 
oh yeah, this was from Amazon as well because I couldn't see the label. But uh, yeah, this I figured when I saw I saw this in person at first uh, in Target, and I immediately came home and got on Amazon to see if I could find it somewhere else for a cheaper price. And I did because it was fifty dollars in the store and like forty three on Amazon. It was at forty at first, but it went up a few dollars. And this I figured would be an awesome way to start collecting vehicles for my six inch scale figures. We have the WWE. What's this called? The uh, Rampage Rig. Yeah. Big enough to fit your six inch scale figures in a semi truck. So this is probably going to be going on a shelf, probably for like a Punisher display. Frank Castle's truck that he's going around dishing out justice to his own brand of justice. Of course, the truck, you know, breaks away, falls away, and everything has a crack right there on top for everything, like kind of like just fall apart as they're wrecking the truck. But the idea for me is I'm probably going to like super glue that get together like tape it and like paint over the tape or something like that to keep it like you know just one solid piece and you and t take this a uh, big red red part part yeah you know, take that part off and make a custom uh frank castle semi that you can drive around in so awesome and next up we have here this came from hasbro pulse i went ahead and took advantage of the premium or the um, warehouse sale they have going on they have they have the uh, warehouse 35 for like premium members and the warehouse 30 for not premium members so I took advantage of the not premium version of it and picked up quite a few things so let's see what we have here today We have the Fortnite G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. I believe if you guys remember uh, my previous Snake Eyes version, um, where's that? This one. So you guys can see it. He took a nosedive off the shelf and broke his foot off. So that was probably the bummer. Very sad. But I also I replaced him with the uh, first version of Snake Eyes that comes with Timber, the two pack. And now he this one is replaced with this version. I think it looks very cool. The colors on this guy looks like they come through very bright and cleanly. The weapons I'm not too excited about because they look like, of course, Fortnite weapons. They look fake. Something that Snake Eyes definitely wouldn't use. But I have plenty of weapons left over from other figures and whatnot. So, yeah, not a big deal. But glad to have this figure. You can put him off to the side somewhere. Stop texting me right now. And I went ahead and picked up the two pack of Charles Xavier and Magneto. My light is flickering right here. So I put up here to pick up the two pack of Charles Xavier and Magneto from the movie universe. Nice. I finally picked up the two pack of Old Man Logan and Old Man Hawkeye. Cool. Glad to finally have them. And I went ahead and picked up the two pack of Orion Pax and Alpha Trion. Oh, kind of close. You guys can't see it. Yeah, I am stoked about this. I am a big fan of the storyline of how Optimus Prime became oh, Optimus Prime. Started out, of course, as Orion Pax, and then, of course, got injured in battle with uh, Megatron, and he was rebuilt by um, Alpha Trion as Optimus Prime and became a Prime. So now I'm starting to finally get into the Power Rangers universe. I have the Power Rangers Dino Thunder Blue Ranger. I have the 12-inch... Uh, version that came out years ago like 10 like 10 15 years ago it's all worn down like, like the paint the colors came all out the clothing the cloth clothing and whatnot so yeah i'm glad to finally have this figure i'm, I'm very like reminiscent uh you know nostalgic of this particular figure the dino bot i mean the uh dino thunder blue ranger because like i said i have the uh bigger one that came out a long time ago that have them. and i went and hid and picked up two more of these guys for you guys for the raffle two more Iron Man, modular armor Iron Man figures with the proton cannon. So that's two more possibilities or chances you guys can have to win that figure. So give you guys Apple opportunity. So that right there should be your ticket to go ahead, your sign to go ahead and subscribe for your chance to win. What well, is this right here? Oh, I'll have to cut it open to see. So that is sent in a smaller package on the inside.
And guys, I got into a bit of a scuffle last night, apprehending a suspect. And so I'm a little bit hurt right now because he wanted to test me. My knee is banged up. Skin lost, lost some skin from my knee. And he broke my favorite watch that I just got like three weeks ago. I paid $30 for this watch. So that sucks. But yeah, and then the, he just ended up walking anyway because the charge wasn't a violent enough charge, but he did resist severely. So yeah, oh yeah, went ahead and picked up the G.I. Joe Classified Series Kamakura. So now Snake Eyes can have his uh, apprentice with him on the shelf in display. Glad to have him. And I've had to go ahead and get this to try to add to my collection a little bit of board games. I have the Wakanda Forever Monopoly set. Now this can kind of go with, um, I don't want to take too much time on this video, but I have this Wakanda Forever. Well, not for Wakanda Forever, but what is Wakanda? Wakanda Forever. This board game that came out a while ago came out with the first movie, so it has T'Challa on the front, and now I have the second movie board game of Monopoly that has Shuri on the front. So yeah, it works out. I can start building my little board game collection together. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, that's it for this one. Yeah close I'm gonna try to wrap it up for you guys got like a it's already a 12 minute video I try not to let it last that long so this is kind of kind of a big one here yeah, I definitely had to take advantage of the uh, sale that Hasbro has because there's so many figures that I want that I feel like I'm behind on and once I get a chance to get them they dropped like 30, 40 percent, whatnot, like the pulse days back there in the summer last year. I try to grab as many as I can. Let's see what we have in here. This package was actually a bit of a problem because I accidentally sent it to the wrong address. It was going to my old address at my previous house. Fortunately, they crossed town, well not crossed town, like a few blocks away, so I was able to go over and make contact with the resident and ask them to politely give me my stuff. So as I mentioned before guys, um, I had the Core Class Soundwave on pre-order from Entertainment Earth, and I believe they uh, kind of jipped me and sent me the shockwave here, but Hasbro had my back. They gave me the Core Class Soundwave that I was looking for because I was waiting on that one from Entertainment Earth for months. For a very long time, unreasonable amount of time. And then, again on the uh, Power Rangers wave, we have the uh, Red Ra Red Ranger from the uh, Power Rangers Lightning uh, Collection. The Mighty Morphin, the original OG. Then we have, I went and picked up another, well, I picked up an Autobot Silver Streak from the uh, Buzzworthy Collection. Or line. Then I'm getting starting to finish up uh, the... Uh, Infinity Ultra Online, uh, build a figure. So we need to pick up Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. Nice, glad to have them. I went and picked up a the new War Machine figure that came out and a Spirit figure. Nice. I'm telling you guys, this was quite a big haul. So be patient with me here. If you're still watching, thank you. Uh, then I went and picked up the VHS Morph figure finally. Wasn't a big fan of the character itself, but glad to have him just to finally finish out my 90s X-Men collection. Again, a Mighty Morphin figure line. Have the uh, Black Ranger. Nice. Then we have the What If series Red Skull. I noticed somebody else had mentioned that um, this guy, this version of the figure, Red Skull, does look a whole lot like how he looked in the movie. I don't have a movie Red Skull, so... He will fill in nicely. Then I also have, I went and picked up the Transformers Predacon Tarantulas. Nice. What else do we have here? I got a few packages inside of packages, of course. Well, no, not this one. I went and picked up, who is this? I can't really read. Yeah, Magnificus. Yeah. Just because I figured, why not, you know? Glad to have him be in the collection somewhere. And then I picked up another figure for you guys. Another retro card apocalypse. 
for all you guys that missed out, you will have a chance to win one here on my channel. So, nice. Then I finally went ahead and picked up the Mojo from the X-Men line. Glad to have them. I think I may get another one. I'm not sure. We'll see. And who is this? Another. This is the one the package inside a package or a figure inside a package. Let's go ahead and get this cut open. And this is the last one, guys. This is the end of the video. You guys made it. A whole almost 16 minutes. Just bear with me for a few moments longer and we can see what this is. It's a G.I. Joe line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to. Go ahead and pick up the three pack before they sold out. Three pack of the Cobra Officers and Vipers. Did I say that correctly? Cobra Officer and Viper, yes. So they can go with my Tomax and uh, Samat. I uh, can't say their names like right on the top of my head, but uh, yeah, they will go nicely with them on my G.I. Joe shelf. And that does it for this pickup slash haul video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you, all you guys' support so far. Um, stay tuned and subscribe for updates and whatnot of more uh, unboxing slash review videos slash haul videos and slash um, everything else. And um, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. You guys, as always, stay safe and you guys take it easy. Later.